Hello. Hello, Gemini. How are you doing, Gemini? I hope you're doing well. Let's see what's coming up for you. Ace of Cups, first card. Nice. Seven of Cups, second card. And the Sun is your third card. Brilliant. So this is all past energy row. This row is representing the past. So I think, Gemini, that you've been in a situation where you've had choices and options. You might have had a lot of people um, wanting you, desiring you. Two of Pentacles. This is at the top of the row representing your current energy. And I'm seeing on that Two of Pentacles, choices. Do, do I go this way? Do I go that way? Do I go with this person? Do I go with that person? You do have the Wheel of Fortune right in the center of your spread considering you've already had the sun and the first row that showed up with the ace of cups seven of cups good looks like there could be a karmic situation playing out six of cups that karmic situation could be someone from the past trying to come back in. But you want to go to do the new thing. <laughs> go to do the new thing. with mm, Ten of Wands. Hasn't really shown up this week. It's not really a collective energy. I mean, the Ten of Wands is about a lot of effort, obviously, as you can see by the picture. One of the definitions of the Ten of Wands is stress leading to illness. So I just want to point that out because it is showing up in your future row. And I mean, that isn't necessarily clear yet, but that is intuitively the feeling that I'm getting. Not connected to the rest of the reading. Six of Swords. Where this is connected to the rest of the reading is a, a, a karmic partner from the past who's trying to come back in is just too much stress. And you are being encouraged to get away from that situation. Or just not entertain it. Like this. I'm, I am getting entertainment on that card. Very entertaining. Maybe, maybe you are someone who is very entertaining. And you don't need to entertain that. Hmm. Final card, Nine of Pentacles. Yes, being on your own. Which isn't always what the card means, but in this instance, it is meaning that. It is about independence. It is about 
having abundance. It is about luxury. It is pre-Empress energy. So it's like being ready to have a glow up. Often happens more than you might think. Just at the point when you're about to be really successful, someone or something from the past comes trying to get back into your energy. It's like a test from the universe. I feel like that test might be showing up for you. Okay, Gemini. So on that very first card, the Ace of Cups, we have well, we have two cards. The Wheel of Fortune again. So this new person is like your, your destiny. The Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Cups right at the beginning. Okay. And that old person who maybe overwhelmed you quite a bit has a level of on them. So an absolute classic as well in relationships is just when you're doing great and they're not, they want to come back to kind of like, um, yeah, I'm gonna use that word parasite off the energy, the good energy that you've got, like a succubus. Wow, interesting. So with the sun, you have the seven of cups again, seven of cups twice in this row. So maybe a revelation about, oh, they were just buying me trinkets and jewelry and chocolates and roses to win me over. Maybe that might yet happen. With the Two of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Wands right next to the Ten of Wands. Protect yourself from trickery. Okay, with the Wheel of Fortune right in the middle. So that karmic partner from the past, which you probably did have to be with because it was part of your destiny, was a liar, a cheater, and a stealer. Yeah. Nine of Swords on the Six of Cups. Hmm. What I'm getting there is even their... Even their presence gets you worried. I, I I don't think you're thinking about taking this person back. You just want them you just want them gone. They're too emotionally stressful, King of Cups on the Ten of Wands. Great ending. Six of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. Really liking that. And <laughs> yeah, King of Wands, new adventures. Could could be a fire sign, because you've got the King of Wands and the Page of Wands. I'm talking about the new person. Spinning cards. 
I think there's something about that old situation that just makes your head spin. The Page of Pentacles. So it could also be an Earth sign. But that is about new opportunities. The Page of Pentacles. I'm going to pull you one final outcome card. A lot of people have been getting the full this week. Taking a leap of faith into the new. And I'm going to intuitively cut this deck and take you a card. Well, yeah. Taking a leap of faith into this level of happiness. Ten of Cups. Like big time happiness. Okay. Don't forget to check your moon and rising sign. Okay, Gemini? Thanks for being here. Really appreciate it. Take care. Bye.